Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, assholeconsulting.com. I have an email from a young man, and I uh, can't tell you guys, I know you guys said, I don't think he, we'll just assume he wants to be honest. Hey man, I'm currently a junior in college majoring in nutrition with a focus on dietetics. Uh, I have done mostly gen ed classes and some nutrition class classes here and there. I was planning on becoming a dietitian, however, I realized that in order to be successful, I will need to become a registered dietitian. Becoming an RD requires a very competitive internship and also registration exam, which is very hard. I also heard that the market is kind of saturated with dietitians, and the pay cannot be very rewarding sometimes. Yeah, it is, and I looked it up. <coughs> Median pay, what is it, like 50-some thousand? You can look it up on the BLS. I'm kind of regretting I major in this field. I have thought about changing the major and come up with two options, chemistry or food science. I'm thinking about majoring in chemistry because I love chemistry and I'm very good at it. And majoring in food science might even be better because many of the nutrition classes will transfer. Yeah, but it's worthless. It's Nutrition science is worthless. Okay, that's what... I want to be a chef, but I guess I want a little bit of... No, either be a chef or become a scientist. Uh, and, and here you are thinking, well, my classes will transfer. Dude, you are going to... Fuck your classes. If you major in a worthless degree... Uh, and your classes are there. I mean, yeah, it'll, it'll go, they'll go towards another worthless degree. Um, graduate from uh, make me a food scientist. I have looked up the wages for food scientists, and they are very rewarding. Starting salary is about forty-five k a year, and median salary is sixty-five k a year. In some states, it could be as high as ninety k a year. Yeah, but your cost of livings make it essentially the purchasing power of fifty k a year. So like your median salary, like you put in 10 years, the average food scientist only makes 65 grand a year. Is that what you really want to waste four years of your life on? And if you're a minimalist and you really, really like it, cool. But I just kind of wonder. In some state of that. As this is, the, is, as this is only with a bachelor's degree. I'm reading how it's written, guys. I have read many job descriptions for food scientists, and most of them seem to have roles that are similar to some engineers. Maybe that's why it's very rewarding. Uh, maybe. You think I should stick with my current major and hope to become a registered dietitian? Fuck no. Should I major in chemistry? Fuck yes. Or should I become a food scientist? Fuck no. I know that chemical engineering is a good major, but you have talked about it a lot. I would appreciate it if we only focused on the three majors that I mentioned above. Nutrition, chemistry, food science. Okay, out of all those three, chemistry is the best. But the problem with chemistry... If you're going to put that much fucking effort into it, you might as well go become a chemical engineer. Because here's the other thing with chemistry. If you're a chemist, uh, let's say you major pure chemistry, the chemist had the highest pay at, out of the three. I think the dietitian was the lowest. The food scientist was, was the middle. And that required a, uh, a master's. And then the chemist uh, was, uh, was higher than that. But they even said there you might have to get a master's or a PhD to get into some of the higher level stuff. So if you get something more applied, like a chemical engineering degree, um, that's, you're going to put in the same amount of work as you would becoming a chemistry major, but with an added $10,000. Again, look these figures up yourself. Uh, but it, it, it was dietitian, food scientist, chemist, chemical engineer. And you don't have to dick around with a fucking master's degree with a chemical engineering degree. I know you said you didn't want me to talk about it, but fuck you. This is my show. This is how we run it. But yeah, between the three that you picked, absolutely chemistry would be the best. Um, yeah, and I'd say aim a little higher. Remember, median salary, that's like mid-range, that's like the 68-year-olds, all the way to the rookie kids. They make around 65. That's what you can expect to make. And don't let this one, in California, it's 90000 I'm going to move to California. Where, where your houses cost 650000 for a fucking dump. Fuck that bullshit. So anyway, yeah, no, you're thinking around the, li the right lines. I just, I just want to push you a little bit further and have you go, go the distance. But uh, yeah, chemistry is, is the one out of all of them I do. That, that's unless you had a real passion for food, dude. Unless like you're like, oh my god, I love working with cattle, because um, that's, that's what we dealt with over the St. Paul campus. They had the agricultural science and the food science buildings. I was all St. Paul and the U of M campus. 
There's the Minneapolis campus and the St. Paul campus. And St. Paul is all agriculture. It's like a farm out there. they got farmland in St. Paul. It's kind of weird. Uh, and then Minneapolis is where all the liberal arts majors and the real men go, the engineers uh, and the doctors. Um, yeah, so that's, that's how it is. Anyway, best of luck to you, kid. Toodles.